What's up guys? So this is going to be 10 things you might not know about Revival. These are just going to be simple little things that um, you know most players might not know about. Obviously some players will know these and they might know all of them, but uh, hopefully this will help you out. And uh, these are just sort of unique things that Revival has to offer that you might not have seen before on other servers. Number one. So the Wilderness Rings uh, that are dropped from... Callisto, Vedion, and then Venonatus is the third one. Uh, they have stats um, on RuneScape, and they're kind of like niche rings. They have, um, you know, very small uses in, in very different places. Uh, some of them, you know, super just just dead content. I can't remember which one of these is dead content, but one of these two is dead content. But uh, so rather than just have rings that no one would ever use anyways, we uh, decided to give them extra stats. So. The Trezinus ring right here, as you can see, has plus 10 range and then uh, plus 4 to all of the defenses. So, uh, this is the best range ring there is in game. Uh, the Tyrannical ring has plus 10 to all attack, negative defensive bonuses, uh, and then it also has 10 strength bonus. So, this is the best melee one. Obviously, you are lacking the defense, but most people won't care. And then the last one, the Ring of the Gods, which is a magic ring and then also has its prayer. So. Uh, yeah, they do have pretty interesting stats. Um, I don't know if anybody even really knows that because they don't really get any attention. So hopefully this video will <laughs> bring that to light. Um, the next best rings in terms of bonuses would be the um, the uh, what are they called? Here, let me like the uh, the imbued rings that you get from the Dagnos. These I believe cap at plus eight, so these are two better than those. All right, so number two, shift drop and zoom. So these are two features that most people might not know about. Shift drop obviously being uh, the more popular one because it's a pretty well-received update uh, from old school. So uh, basically, we'll just uh, test it over at the docks. It does not work on items with left-click options, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. But uh, that should be good enough if we get the dragon harpoon out. So uh, if you uh, see here, this has a wield option. So if I shift, nothing happens. But if I hover over the raw sharks, in the top left you see it says drop and then you can just click them and there you go and then of course if you try to click this it just wields it uh, the main reason for that if you were wondering is that if you try to do it to an untradeable say the infernal cape it would just drop it immediately without a warning and uh, untradeables don't go to the floor they disappear so you would just lose it and then with the zoom what you're gonna want to do is press control and then go up and down on your mouse wheel as you can see I'm zooming out uh, so that's pretty useful if you want to see more of the map or if you're trying to like you know zoom in on a bank to try to you know no get get better experience rates. Number three, the boss logs. So on the Ring of Wealth I, the normal Ring of Wealth, the Luck of the Pugs, all of the rings have either the log or the features option on the older ones, and uh, this shows you your kill counts and whatnot. Includes everything. It's got Scatizo. Uh, even have the newer ones such as Vespula, Mutadile, and Tecton. And then you also have your clues and your browse chest. And this applies to all of them. It's the same exact thing. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You can see what you what your counts are. Alright, so number four. We have these two NPCs over in the dock. So this one is a little more easy to see as you can see from where I'm standing. It's visible. And this dude teleports you to K4s. So I'll show you what that is. And so I just teleport you right here with a bunch of K4s. And they do drop the black mask. So the next NPC is a little bit further down this way. And this is the more useful one in my opinion. So the ghost sailor right here teleports you to some of the wilderness spots. So you have all the, the wilderness bosses, Chaos Elemental, Callisto, Vedion, Crazy Archaeologist, all of those. And then uh, if, you, if you go to his other options, he also has resource area. Wilderness God Wars Dungeon and the Wilderness Agility Course. Uh, originally, he charged uh, a Dragon Bone per teleport, but that's since been removed. So, yeah, if you want to go to any of these locations, this is definitely the best way to get there. Number five, dismantling Zora items. So, this is something that most people think you can't do. I believe on the old school, you just right click the, the thing and you dismantle. That doesn't work in here. Uh, to dismantle them on here, you just use a hammer on them. So as you see, you get a nice little hoax smash. And then you get 10k scales. So you get 10k scales per the little ones. And then for blowpipe, you get 20. Uh, this is probably going to be changed around, but at the time of this video, this is all accurate. Number six, 
Number six, the Zalandra Totems and the Jars. So, uh, to start off, you're going to want 50k Zora Scales. You're going to come over to the general store. Uh, buy this totem right here, if you have money. Uh, once you have the 50k Scales and the totem, come over to this Priestess Zol something something. And uh, she will make you a Zalandra Totem. So then once you have the totem, you can use a knife on it and it will give you a random Zol item. So it could be the Jar of Swamp. It could be an uncut onyx, could be blowpipe, could be, I believe they all have the exact same rate. Uh, and then you do have a very rare chance of the pet. So, is it, is it chisel? It's chisel. I'm dumb. And I coded it too. And we get, hey, not bad. That's a nice thing. So with the jars, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to teleport to Canifus. I'll just show you exactly how to get there. If you already know, then obviously you can just skip ahead if you want. Uh, so teleport to Canifus and then start walking north. So uh, basically with these jars, you can trade them in for points. Uh, the swamp is scales, uh, and it can be anywhere from 1 to 10,000. And then the jar of sand is vote points. The um, If you come talk to him, he'll tell you exactly what all the options are. So there's really... If you're really curious, or just, you know, look in the video, because you'll see them. So over here, should be him, yep, old man row. So these aren't completely useless, some people think that they are, but they actually do have uh, a decent purpose. So then Miasma is Trivia Points, Souls is Bounty Hunter, Dirt is Pest Control, and then Darkness is Slayer Points. So let's trade in the Swamp, see what we get. 8,000, that's actually a pretty good haul. Could be uh, anywhere from 1 to uh, 10k. And then for the jar of sand, let's see how many bullet points we get. 3. That's pretty bad because it could be anywhere from 1 to 30. Number 7. The Slayer Reset Form. So this is an item that is available in Vanica's shop for 250 points. And in my opinion, it is the first item you should go for. It is definitely, uh, definitely too good. Um, which, what you can do with it is if we uh, go back here, you can... Click it, and you get yourself a Slayer task. And it works infinite. It doesn't use any points or anything like that. So you can essentially just get whatever Slayer task you want. But the cool thing about it is you can also get boss tasks. So if you toggle it, it should turn red. And then now you can get boss tasks. So some people thought that boss tasks were removed. They're not. You just have to get them through the Slayer Reset form. So... Number eight, Easter eggs. So when I had, a, I used to have a message that said, uh, you know, like one of the general messages, and it said something along the lines of there's tons of Easter eggs around the game, make sure you look for them. People thought I meant actual Easter eggs. No, the Easter eggs are kind of like secrets or little jokes, like inside jokes that uh, developers put in game. It's really just a nod to other things or references to other things like that. So uh, there's tons of them through the game. Uh, whenever I'm doing something, there's always, like, if... if if it makes sense, I'll, I'll do it. I mean, even if it doesn't make sense, I, I kind of tend to do it. You know, I don't I don't mind messing around and just, um, you know, putting crazy things. So it, it, it applies to a lot of things. And there's so many that I probably won't, you know, I wouldn't even remember them all. I don't want to go over most of them because, obviously, if, if, uh, if I just tell you them, it's, it's somehow less funny. But if you examine a mystery box, you'll get an interesting option. If you examine... The beaver pet, you'll get an option. Uh, these dudes right here are, uh, the Nordic dudes, are a reference to Dude, Where's My Car? We saw that, uh, <laughs> saw Dude, Where's My Car? when the server was being created, and, uh, that's why that's there. Um, there's tons of different ones. They really range from a lot of different things. Uh, Richardson, uh, don't be a tool. That's a reference to Hot Rod. Uh, yeah, Fez over here, who is a reference to 70 Show. Uh, so there's a ton of them, and they're all over the place. Just kind of keep your eyes out, especially with new content, because I'm almost always adding them. Uh, let me just uh, spawn this uh, new raid boss real quick and uh, examine it. Oh, it's not aggressive, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, yeah, so shout out to John. Let's uh, kill this thing. We should get a nice little dragon claws. Dragon claws. We got a rune. I mean, we got rare item, though. Number nine, the rare drop table. So the rare drop table is a drop table that most monsters have access to. This applies to uh, literally most monsters. There's only a few exceptions. And uh, the chance is 1 in 750 that you'll hit it, and it is considered an extra drop. Whenever you do get the drop, there will be a little thing in your chat. 
that says you see whatever the item is on the floor. So it's an extra drop. You shouldn't you shouldn't miss it because it'll show up on the uh, chat. And then here are all of the possible options. Sorry about that. So here's the options. Uh, so yeah, you have 50 brews. These are in uh, individual drops, by the way. You don't get all of them, and uh, you'll get you'll get one. So uh, there other. You know, I'm missing one item. All right. So here they are. So you have uh, 50 serum and brews, 5 million cash, 250 drain dart tubes. These are not in it. I don't know why those are. They're free, free dragon plate legs for anybody. Uh, 100 raw sharks, 30 and cut dragon stones. You, you can see, you can see the loot. So I'll go over the ones you probably can't. Uh, so you have each clue right here: ring of wealth eye, which is double a normal ring of wealth, and then you have the newer ones, which is the key ring, and the five instant tokens. Five instant tokens is a part of the newest update, uh, which came out yesterday. So if you're not too familiar with that. Uh, check out my last video or just check out the updates. I'll have the link in the description below. Key ring is every single key. Number 10, a very rare drop from Tecton and Vespula. So Tecton and Vespula were the first two raid bosses. I'll show you their drops now. Uh, Tecton being the first. Right now. And then Vespula. And these are both in game, they've both been killed. Right here, this one drops the Ancestral and Coda and whatnot. And uh, they both have a very rare drop, which is, I believe at the moment, the rarest possible drop in game. It's a 1 in 25,000 chance to get the to get the drop. Uh, it will show up over Yell. I don't want to tell you what it is, but if you really think about it, you can probably come up with... Uh, <laughs> come up with some ideas, but... Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if anybody ever actually does get it. I don't think... I, I, I thought about maybe lowering the chance just so people would actually get it, but I think it'd be a lot more interesting if we kept it just as super rare. It's possible no one will ever get it. It's possible two people get it in the same day. We'll have to see, but uh, yeah, definitely want to kill those bosses and try to get it. And it, yeah, it will show up over Yale, so you, you, everyone will know.